Welcome to BergKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to demonstrate just how easy it is to grind knife bevels utilizing the tilt table bevel grinding jig. Now I'm going to start with a knife blank. This is uh, AEBL stainless steel, 3 16 thick. I'm not showing on this video how to set up the, the tilt table or how to get the proper angle. I've done multiple videos, you know, how-to videos on that. For this video, I really just want to uh, demonstrate how easy it is and, and how long it takes. So I'm not going to have any cutaways. We're just going to watch this grind real time. Now the tilt table was actually developed by my friend Jason Northgard a few years ago. He made one for himself and, and then he made one for me. Um, and we, we liked it so much that we both sat down and kind of redesigned it. And we redesigned it so that it would um, be able to be mounted to almost any 2x72 grinder uh, that has the ability of holding a second inch and a half tooling arm. So it's adjustable, you know, up and down, left to right, and of course uh, angles. And, uh, and it can also be squared to the platen, which is kind of important. Now, it is really easy to use the tilt table. It, it, it actually improved my bevel grinding, I would say 100%, almost overnight. It does take a few, a few tries to get the feel for it. You have to apply a little bit of pressure uh, towards the table just to hold the blank flat. You don't want to apply too much upward force. Uh, if you did, you would you would force the blank up on top of the, the platen and your grind lines would not be, be even. But all I'm doing is I've scribed two railroad track lines on the edge of the blank and I'm just watching those. I'm letting the grinder do the work. So I'm not pushing the blank up into the grinder at all. I'm just really holding the blank flat, moving it up gradually and letting uh, that belt grind away the material. Now this is a 36 grit belt. It's a coarse grit belt. I'm doing the rough preheat treating uh, flat grinds on this knife and it really doesn't take that long at all. I mean I'm not rushing. This is just a normal uh, you know day in the garage or day grinding. So normally you know on a 3 16 blank like this, it probably takes me a half a dozen passes in order to do the rough bevels. Now the tilt table is currently in patent pending status. Um, we do have some competition out there. Uh, apparently we're not going to be able to, to stop them until after the patent is actually issued. It always surprises me why, why people can't, you know, add a little own, their own design into something. They have to copy somebody else's, uh, just a little, a little annoying. But I would just recommend that you be very careful of who you buy from. Uh, if you're interested, I do have two models on my site, BergKnifeMaking.com. We have the original uh, Pro model, which has a slightly larger table and all stainless steel hardware. And we also have a standard model, uh, which is much more affordable, um, will function the same, will give you some really nice results. Um, and this is the finished product. And this took three minutes and 30 seconds uh, per side. You just watch that entire, uh, the entire bevel grinding on one side in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. What's really neat is that after heat treating, I'm just going to leave that tilt table set at that angle. I'll swap out the belt for a finer uh, pitch belt, and I'll go right back and clean up post heat treating. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd like to give you an invite to join us on our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. And by all means, check out the book that Jason and I put out last year called Introduction to Knife Making. And that can be found on Amazon.com. I'd love it if you took a minute and left a, a comment in the comment section. Thank you very much.